Hey everyone, it's Elaine with Larkin Lane Creations, and it's a rainy day here in Georgia, so I thought what better day to take time and go ahead and do my video for the collaborative that um, Terry Lee at Sweet Pea Papers and Kiyung Shotwell, um, her group is, excuse me, her Etsy shop is Wonders by Wink. They had asked me to jump in and um, do a Christmas something. So I know some people are doing cards and everything. Well, I decided to do a journal. And I'm going to do a quick little flip through here. Um, but before I get started, we'll take care of business and tell you that everybody that's part of the collab is going to be listed down below. Terry has been kind enough to pull all the information together for us. And the hashtag that you want to search for is hashtag Vintage Christmas Day in July 2021. I know, it's a mouthful. But again, hashtag Vintage Christmas Day in July 2021. So let's show you here what I've started, or what I've done, excuse me. Um, I have a cloth cover, and it's kind of Christmassy and kind of not. Um, I really liked it. I did just one signature in it. And as you all know, my journals and things that I've been doing lately are use what you have. And I think I've been doing pretty good with it. This ribbon actually came off a, of a box of very dry, nasty cookies that I received at Christmas time. They were so dry, even dipping them in your coffee didn't help. But it had this great ribbon on it. So I didn't do anything with it. It was already attached, glued together. And then I had a lot of old Christmas kind of ephemera and stickers. And I had this in my stash. So I decided to add this as my embellishment. Normally on my journals, I always try to put the word journal somewhere. But in this case, I thought maybe the person that got it or myself, whatever I do with it, might want to use it as a Christmas daily, um, a December daily. So I didn't do anything. So here we go. Um, this is the rest of the ribbon. It was that long that it came down and I wrapped it all the way back up. So this is actually two layers thick. Um, these are watercolor cards that I did a long time ago. Um, maybe some of you have heard of Sandy McTeer. She now is, um, I think, one of the main artists with Deco Art, and she used to teach classes locally here in Georgia. And this was a watercolor class that I did with her. And uh, we did all kinds of um, Christmas cards and just all kinds of stuff. So I put those in there. And now this is a digital from um, Ki Young. And when I do digitals, I do both sides. I print all my digitals double-sided. You're going to ask me why. My reason is, is that I don't then have to coffee stain or tea stain paper and then try to print on it or try to coffee stain it or tea stain it after it's been printed. So if I go ahead and do the digitals two-sided, it saves me that whole step. So in this case, like I said, this is a digital. This is one of her pieces of ephemera that I did. And I just framed it out with some burgundy cardstock that I had on hand. This was a little doodad that who knows where I picked it up at. Um, this was also a piece of a digital, this little tab um, from the digital kit. And you'll see it a little bit later where the rest of it is. So this is also a digital. And again, print it two-sided. And then this is another piece of the ephemera. I like um, doing words on pages from time to time. Now this behind here is coffee stained paper and let me show you. Um, I have different designs on them and it is so much fun. I do it on all kinds of things. I do it whether it's on a um, an actual book page or just copy paper and so that is my base. For that, put it to the side here. So that's my base, and then I just had some ribbon 
that I got at the big box stores and this is another one of the um, pieces of ephemera from the digital kit. Again, another digital, another digital. Now, if you'll notice, my photo corners here are the same fabric that the book cover is done in. What I did was when I mitered the corners to put the book cover together, or the cover of the book together, I just took those corners and I used them then as photo corners. So now I don't have to worry about those pieces getting lost, what I'm going to do with them, getting in my way. I went on and used them, and I think that's adorable with that digital. Now, here is a Christmas card. Yep, I keep old Christmas cards. I've been part of an ATC group for a very long time, and we always do this one challenge every year after Christmas, and it's recycling your Christmas cards into ATCs. So this is just a card that I thought was cute. And the paper that this is on, let me show you this. Have you ever seen such a giant embossing folder? This is the only one that I've ever been able to find. I would love to have more of them. It fits an entire 8.5 by 11 piece of paper. It's wonderful. I love it. And this paper I actually coffee stained after I embossed. And it did not lose its shape. So to me... I don't know. I really like those embossing, that embossing folder. Another digital, again, two-sided. Some more coffee-stained paper. This is an old vintage card. And this is, again, just a piece of something that I had from my Christmas stash. Now, here is the paper that was part of, that was a digital. And that was the rest of the tab there that I showed you. I did some rub-ons right there. And then these are some more of the digitals from the kit and I did it on coffee stained paper in that case so you have some little places to write and tuck things now this I got out of a book and it was like poetry and old stories and everything and um, it was the Christmas story and it kinda tells a little bit about um, Christmas and where it actually started um, here is another digital and I mounted the words on a card had these old ribbons with a little pearl. Wow, cute on top of the tree. Something to do with what I got. This was also a digital. But in this case, the digital was smaller pretty much than my paper. And I didn't really want to cut this down and just make it a piece of ephemera. I wanted to use this as a page. So I took, um, these are the three colors of alcohol ink that I did. I used walnut stain, I used candy apple, and I used pine needles. Are the three colors that I distressed in this book. Alrighty. And then this polka dot was also one of the digital pages. Again, I added a piece of ribbon in here. I had some oval doilies that I had coffee stained. Just a little add a little bit of lace without it being so frilly. Another little bookmark or a little tab, excuse me. And then I had these um, lights, paper lights, and I thought that would be cute as a little decoration. And then this is just something that I picked up somewhere down the road along with this little bookmark. And now this is also a digital page. Now this is a Christmas card that I cut up, and this was also a Christmas card with the pine on it. So I turned these into journaling cards. Now this is also a digital, so as you can see, that's one side of it, and this is the other side. So the kit that we had, it probably had like 50-some pages in it. It was, you know, great. Now you'll see here, I took one of the digitals that she did and did it as if it were a photograph. And I'm going to give you a little secret here. This is like a brown tissue paper, and I always keep strips. I usually tear them with a ruler, and I always keep strips available to pretend that it's old scotch tape. And in this case, I tore it in half. But I always try to have some of these handy. Um, and like I said, it's just um, stained or whatever tissue paper. It came that way. I didn't do it. And again, this is one of my um, pages with the lace tablecloth on it. Again, this was an old card. And it was stark white. It really glowed against all those vintage looking things. So I took the walnut stain and distressed it. 
Here's a little bling bling, and this was a digital paper. And then this is probably my favorite digital paper in the whole kit. So I used it as my centerfold. I added a couple charms, uh, a little key, and then a believe, as in believe in Santa Claus. And that's in the center of the book. And then let's see, so we're halfway through. That's the rest of that digital. And here I did the little girls and did the little scotch tape technique on another piece of lace on paper you can see and this was a Christmas card as well and again those snowflakes were white 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 so I muted them down and then this was a another Christmas card and I turned it into a journaling card and I also muted it down again a digital page and then this was a little journaling card that came in the digital kit and then this is another um, vintage card that I um, received from a friend and then that's a digital kit this is another piece of the ephemera in the kit and that since the paper was white I just stained it you know with the um, candied apple um, stained distressed ink to mute it down and then this was um, scrapbook paper so that was the other half of that the other half of the doily and again a Christmas card and in this case what I did is I used it as a little tuck spot for the journaling card and then this is the other half to the um, pine digital and again I, I muted that and added one of the um, the word cards and another Christmas card it was kinda hard I did try to do something with the gold but I couldn't really figure out quite a way to mute it down so I just left it as it is to stand alone um, I did not use it as a tuck spot or anything I probably should have done that but I did not and then this is a um, Christmas card also and it does have some space in here I don't have anything tucked in this one and then this is an old vintage picture with a old um, clip on it and another piece of the ephemera with a little ribbon this is another um, digital page and that's the back side like I said I always do the two sided and then here's um this I've had for a little while is another little vintage card but this is part of the kit and then as you can see my little tab ribbon here is the same as um, my little tuck spot ribbon up front and I just folded it over and in this case I used Fabri-Tac and I had to use a pretty good amount of it that ribbon was a little thick and then added the little sticker bling to it and then here's another digital card on the embossed paper and again a little doodad that I had for a while this is out of the kit as well and you can make this the whole size of a page or keep it smaller and then I added this Christmas card and then on the back of it you could you know another little journaling spot slide down in there and then this is another one of the um, digital pieces of ephemera and then I put this um, book mostly together at a retreat and someone knew what I was working on so she brought me this scroll that said Dear Santa so I mounted it on a little piece of green so you could really see it sh uh, the dear Santa shine through and I thought that was a cute place to write and this made me think about something else and I'll show you in a minute so this is the two-sided of this digital paper again and this is just a little goodie um, out of my stickers that I had in my Christmas drawer and then this is the two-sided paper as well how pretty huh and then someone else at the retreat gave me this little Santa and I thought it was the best way to um, close the journal and it says Merry Christmas to someone who was always on Santa's nice list thought that was a nice way to do it but then that little scroll up there made me think how it would be fun to have a Santa wish list so I made one but look at this paper it goes and it goes and it goes and it goes so I could have a really big Christmas wish list so I thought in the back would be a good way just to tuck that away and I had some kind of shiny ribbon on hand so that is my Christmas journal made from the digitals again you can find the digitals at Wonders by Wink from Kyung Shop Shotwell excuse me and Terry I would like to thank you um, she is the host of Sweet Pea Papers on YouTube and on the Facebook group. So please, if you like what I did, I put up a video every Tuesday evening. You can join me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. I also am on Pinterest. 
and I have a few things in my Etsy shop. But again, I want to thank Terry and Ki Young for having me. And please check out all the other collaborators down below and see what they're up to as well. It was nice chatting with everybody and behave and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.